her wallet. I'm sure it's in here someplace. At least I think I'm sure. I know I had it with me when I went to my workshop this morning. So who asked? The line's moving. Oh. <laughs> hey. What do they do up there, run out of nickels? In this place, that'll be the day. Who's holding things up? I don't know. I think it's that girl. <laughs> I didn't have any breakfast, so now I'm starving. But so am I. Oh, sorry. There's your younger generation. Lovins, they remember. Wallets, they forget. <laughs> A dime. <laughs> 25 cents, 15 cents. Hot water. Sorry, Dolly Bird. Dolly Bird. <laughs> You don't mind, do you? Of course not. And you'll share some of this with me, won't you? There's a good girl. Now, what do you fancy? I fancy that you take your food and your phony English accent over to another table. A tata, a cheerio, and all that sort of rot. So the accent's legitimate. It's the approach that's a bit artificial. But I was only hoping to tempt you. Tempt me? To a little foreign aid. After all, you Americans are doing it all the time. Allow me to express a bit of personal gratitude by way of some mashed potato. Uh, beef stew, but definitely some mashed potato. You could use some meat on those bones. Now, just Although a I wouldn't want you to fill out too much. The, the waif look has a certain appeal today, even for me. Oh, thank heavens. For a moment there, I was worried sick. Charming. Well, let's dispense with the formalities. Oh, right. I'm... Let's dispense with the formalities. The mashed potatoes, the waif, the whole bit. In plain old American, that's known as the brush. Oh. I think it's marvelous, don't you? She's marvelous. Boy, how does anybody get through to you? By graciously accepting my offer of lunch, child. Okay. So I've been at my workshop all morning. I've been painting scenery. That's why I'm so... Would you be interested in a job? And I left my wallet at home this morning. And on top of everything else, I haven't had any breakfast. I'd be willing to pay in advance. And just what kind of a job did you have in mind? I'd like you to pose for me. Sure. Now, now, I know it sounds a bit dodgy, but actually, I'm a photographer. And, and you have a special quality I think I can catch on film. Yeah, right. And you're not from New York, so, so you don't actually have a studio here. True? 
true. And, and we could go up to your hotel and we could talk it over. True again? True again, and an excellent suggestion. Uh, here's the name of my hotel. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And may I make another suggestion? By all means, please do. Don't ever bother me again, because if you do, I'm going to turn your name over to the New York Police Department, the Bureau of Immigration, the FBI, and the CRO. C-I-E. C-O-L. C-I-A. You know, I really thought Hamlin would be mad at my idea, but he really likes it. He wants to do a long article on the subject. Oh, that's wonderful, Don. That's just marvelous. Well, it, you know, it isn't Pulitzer Prize material or anything like that, but, you know, it's just personally satisfying. Well, I think that's better than any kind of prize. You know, if you didn't have a sandwich in your mouth, I'd kiss you. Well, if I wasn't so hungry, I'd throw the sandwich away. Other than the ketchup soup, how was your morning? There was this guy at the automat, and he tried to pick me up by using that old thing about a photographer looking for models. Well, honey, I gotta tell you, if I was a photographer and I saw you sitting in a restaurant, I'd ask you to model for me, too. If it had been you, you'd have been a little more ingenious than to use that come over to my hotel and let's talk it over routine. What a phony. He asked you to go to his hotel? Mm-hmm. But I sure put a scare into him. He wrote the name of his hotel down on his card, and I put it in my purse. And I told him, if he ever bothered me again, I'd turn his name over to the FBI and the CIA. <laughs> it is a CIA, isn't it? I'm never sure. <laughs> what was his name? I don't know. I didn't even look at the card. Oh, honey, it's not that important. I was just curious. No, no, I know it's in here someplace. Well, if it isn't, everything else is. Here it is. Was he English? I told you he was a genuine phony. Why'd you ask if he were English? Well, look. Look, haven't you ever seen that credit line? Photo by Noel Prince, the fashion photographer. He's legitimate. Boy, is that sneaky. I understand he's discovered a lot of models. What are you gonna do? I'm going over to his hotel and apologize. Well, that might not be too easy. You better won't be too easy. It's hard enough to apologize when you know in your heart you're right. But when you know in your heart you're wrong, that's tough. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'd like to see Mr. Noel Prince. 506. Your name, please? Anne Marie. Uh, hello, this is the front desk. Uh, there is a Miss Anne Marie here to see uh, Mr. Prince. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Prince doesn't know anyone named Anne Marie. Oh, of course not. I never told him my name. Tell him that Anne Marie is the girl he tried to pick up in the automat. No, I'll not deliver any such message. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Yes, goodbye. Oh, and if Mr. Prince saw every girl who wanted to model for him, <laughs> well. <laughs> service, please. Yes? What is this? Room service. Uh, did you order anything, sir? No, not a thing. Why, what have you got? <laughs> My mistake. Funnily enough, this is for me. Your eyes. Those enormous, luminous eyes. Beckoning enticing eyes. What is it I see? Can it be a touch of pain? A hint of suffering? Yes, it can. You're stepping on my foot. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Let's try it again. Now, sit down. Yeah. I see a promise in those eyes. Is it a promise, really? Or am I reading messages there I only hope to find? Wishful thinking. Is that it? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's wild. Yes, indeed. That's good. That's good. Marvelous. Hold it like that. Good. Good. Now, left a little. Not too much. Without moving your head, love, lower your eyes just a trifle. That's perfect. Marvelous. Good. 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 I love it. Good. That's marvelous. Those eyes. Those eyes. Those mesmerized, those hypnotized. 
That's the lot. Are we through shooting? Yes. It's amazing the way you work. I mean, the way you talk and, and everything. Me? Talk? Never. I never begin to concentrate if I talk. Whatever gave you that idea, child? <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's the same thing that gives me the idea that you keep calling me child. Oh, I only call you that because you are one and always will be. You know, you're not that much older than I am to go around calling me child and little one. Oh, but I am old. Old and tired and unsurprised. No longer the handsome, vital, charming man everyone once knew. Now I'm just very, very attractive. <laughs> you know, I don't like to make rash judgments, but you're a nut. Susan, you have the best of all possible blessings. The marvelous ability to be always surprised, pleased, delighted and wide-eyed at life. Look at you looking at me now. Thank heavens you are a child. Otherwise, you'd be a very dangerous woman. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's what I'd love to be, a dangerous woman. I can't think of anything more exciting. What a feeling that must be, to know that a man is just that much. Doesn't have to be any more than that, but just that much afraid of you. You know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Uh, I think I see another shot, love. Uh, would you sort of lounge? <clears throat> yes, that's good. That's good. You're a lovely little thing without an ounce of danger in you. With you, a man feels protected. With you, he knows he's utterly safe. The only woman a man should feel that way about is his mother. <laughs> but you don't know how refreshing it is for someone like me, who's constantly surrounded by women, demanding, desirable, delicious, but devious, always devious. You haven't got a devious bone in that fragile little body. I wouldn't mind developing one. <laughs> or two. Oh, don't think of it. Not while you're working with me. You're my little waif, and I want you to stay that way. I'm not a waif. I've got a mother and a father. What? Where? In Brewster. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> you know, parents can get in the way a bit sometimes, especially on the Sunset Strip or at Malibu. They're in California. What are you talking about? Your career. Oh. Big pardon, sir, but I have the first few roles, sir. Now, unless I am very badly mistaken, and I am never even slightly mistaken, the proof lies not in the pudding, but in the wet negatives. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> what is it? What's happened? This means, mate, we're off to California. California? It's not a fashion assignment I'm doing. I'll be using three models. One for the high fashion look, one for the outdoor look, and you for the mod look. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. Your days of ketchup soup are over. <laughs> unless you've developed a taste for obscurity. Oh, no, no, I'm not at all attached to obscurity. It's just that I've developed a taste for ketchup soup. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to ask me. You do? That's great. But, honey, how could you know I wanted you to help me pick a title for my article? <laughs> Just tuned in, I guess. <laughs> how about offering a helping hand? Offering a helping hand? What kind of title is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Now, just put your hand right there okay. and your finger right here. Okay, good. Honey, isn't it a little cold for swimming? Maybe here, but not in California. Hey. Hey, what do you think of Wasted on the Young? I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's too com... What did you mean before when you said not in California? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Donald, no prince has offered me a modeling job on this big assignment he's doing out there. But, honey, California, that, that's way out there in the West now, Coast. Now, I don't want you to try to talk me out of it, Donald. I wouldn't dream of it. I think it's a good opportunity for you. You could at least try and talk me out of it a little. <laughs> I mean, after all, I'm going to be traveling cross-country with a charming Englishman. Well, well, uh, no prince has a reputation as a gentleman. And I think you're taking me for granted. 
Will you please get that? Honey, I am not taking you for granted. I have confidence in you and confidence in our relationship. That's not confidence, that's smugness. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a smug man. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. I don't like to interrupt a good fight, so... Uh... No, 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 no. Don't leave. I want to talk to you. Who's leaving? I just don't want to... You having a rummage sale? <laughs> I've been offered this marvelous modeling job in California. And so I've been going through all my clothes to see what's right for Hollywood. Hollywood? I don't know if I like you being on your own in that town. Oh, Daddy, I'm flying out with the photographer. So I won't exactly be on my own out there. And besides, Noel will be staying right at the same hotel. Noel? Uh, Noel Prince, uh, the photographer. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. I once knew a girl named Noel. She was born on Christmas Eve. That's why they called her Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, this Noel is a man. A man? Yes, Daddy. He's an English photographer and very well known. I don't care who he is. I don't want my daughter traveling across the country with a strange Englishman. Uh, Mr. Marie, Mr. Prince has a reputation as a gentleman. I wouldn't worry. Oh, you wouldn't. Some boyfriend you are. You'd see her go off to California with another guy? A charming... Is he single? <laughs> Single English type bachelor? Wait, wait, wait a minute. You don't understand. He is only interested in Anne professionally. All he wants to do is take pictures of her. Sure. Let's take some pictures and see what develops. <laughs> that one's older than I am. I'm surprised at you. Now, Mr. Marie, she's a grown woman. No woman is that grown. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm not here. Why? I'm trying to keep you here. But, Daddy, I really want to go, and Donald isn't the least bit concerned. Wait a minute, I didn't say I wasn't concerned. You just said. Well, I can see why your father feels the way. You stay off my side. Mr. Marie. Daddy, Donald, now don't start. What do you mean, don't start? We're already in the middle. It doesn't make any difference. I've already decided to go. You see, genius? Now do you know what we've got to do? What? We've got to stick together. <laughs> Your shoulders, love. Uh, no, let me show you what I mean. Yes? Uh, I'm Don Hollinger. I'm calling for Anne Marie. Oh, yes, Mr. Hollinger. I'm afraid we haven't quite finished shooting yet. Uh, but come along. We'll try and make your weight comfortable. Uh, thank you. What? This way, please. Is this all right, sir? Yes, fine. Thank you very much. Just gorgeous. Why? As though you were being embraced. Good. That's marvelous. Good. Lovely. Too much. Oh, that's great. That's the lot. Oh, Donald! How long have you been standing there? Long enough to see the big love scene between you and Noel Prince. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. That's just the way he works. Uh huh. Well, if that's the way he works, I don't want you to be around when he starts playing. No. I want you to meet him. He's really very charming. You're Hollinger. You're Prince. Now, you two get acquainted while I change. I once knew a soccer player named Hollinger. I once knew a dog named Prince. <laughs> We're already over here, sir. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Hmm. Hello, love. Tonight we're, we're wild, restless, uninhibited, a free soul. Now, really, nice and free, flying through the air. Okay, wild. Love, love it, love it, good. Good. Splendid. Love. Really super. Love it. There you are, love. You remember Donald? Yes, we met at the hotel. How are you, old boy? I've checked all the luggage through, sir. There's nothing to do but board the aircraft. Super. Don't move. What's the matter? The light. The light? It's extraordinary. The... Go over there by the window and take your coat off. I understand you're very mature. Not the jealous type at all. Oh, you mean the way you romance your models? Well, maybe a little disconcerting to someone who didn't know it's only the way you work. The way I work? 
Yes, in most cases, it is the way I work. Sure, I mean the way you were with that other model. Did you say in most cases? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean to keep you. Now, over here, brother. You're going away on a trip. You're leaving old friends behind. But there's an undercurrent of excitement. What new experiences await you? Will an old romance wither and a new one bloom? I didn't know they were going to start working here. Uh, nor did he. The light just happened to appeal to him, and when something appeals to Mr. Prince, he acts. Targets of opportunity, he calls them. <laughs> Miss Anne, has she left yet? She's right there. What's that man doing with my daughter? He's taking her picture. <laughs> Well, where's his camera? He has no personal interest in Anne. She's just a target of opportunity. I'll kill him. Uh, it's nothing. It's just his manner of working, and she's responding. And if that's the way he works, I don't want Anne around when he starts to play. I put it better myself. Daddy! Hi! Hi, sweetie. Oh, Daddy, I want you to meet Noel Prince. Noel, this is my father, Lou Marie. Pleasure, sir. I was pretty upset when I saw you taking pictures of my daughter until Donald explained that it was only your way of working. Flight 75, leaving for Kennedy Airport. Big pardon, sir. I believe we ought to go on board. I'll go ahead and check our seats, sir. You behave like that with all your models? In most cases. Of course he does, Daddy. Uh, uh, excuse me. Can I see you for a second? Now, look. Look, that's the second time you said in most cases. You do have to have things spelled out for you, don't you, Hollinger? Smile. <laughs> Look, will you stop that? Yes, yeah, spell it out. All right, Hollinger, it's war. W-A-R. What do you mean, war? In all my experience, I've never come across anybody quite like Anne. And much to my surprise, I'm serious. How do you mean, serious? About her. About Anne. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I want to say goodbye to Donald, okay? Sure, honey. Goodbye, Donald. I'm really going to miss you. Uh, well, I'm going to miss you too, honey. Now, you take care of yourself and uh, have a good time. It's not so easy without you. You know that. I'll see you soon. so worried. Uh, that, that's not worry. That's, uh, that's unhappiness. What are you unhappy about? You told me that Englishman was a perfect gentleman. You said he could be trusted. M Mr. Marie, I happen to be in love with your daughter. She's leaving on a long trip, and I'm going to miss her. So I'm unhappy. That's not so unusual, is it? No, not at all. As far as I'm concerned, you can be perfectly miserable. Just as long as you're not worried. <laughs> on her way. Now, I wasn't crazy about the way she went away or about some of the things that were going on while she was away. <laughs> so it's perfectly natural that before long, I was on my way. I certainly hope you two are satisfied. And the next thing that happened, how many men are in your room? Well, look, look I don't even like to talk about it. You'll just have to tune in next week. <laughs>